Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. I am the Linux Mensch. Today I'm running Arch Linux as usual, and I'm also running it in the awesome window manager as usual. And today I'm going to talk about terminals. So I'm going to open up Firefox, and on this web page, I'm at the Arch Linux website. And I'm on their wiki page. Now the Arch Linux wiki page is our pages that give instructions about Linux and about installing Arch Linux. But it's a fantastic website. And even if you're running Linux Mint, MX Linux, Debian, or any other type of Linux distribution, you can learn a lot about your Linux from the Arch Linux website on their wiki pages. Anyhow, I'm on the Arch Linux wiki page and I'm on the page that talks about termi terminal emulators. Now every Linux distribution comes with at least one terminal installed and each distribution likes to use uh, their own uh, term terminal. For instance, Linux Mint and Ubuntu come with the GNOME terminal. So I'm on the uh, Arch Linux wiki page that talks about terminals and these are all the different terminals. On the very first one you can see Alacrity. A lot of people like Alacrity. It's a very popular terminal. I don't use it. I have used it in the past but I'm not using it right now. If we scan down, uh, if you see here um, Kitty a lot of people like Kitty. It's also a very popular terminal, and I have used it. Not on a long-term basis, but it's a good terminal. I scan down through some of these. I'm not going to talk about every one of them. Xterm is the terminal I'm using, and I'll talk about that after. Now, GNOME Terminal. This is GNOME Terminal here. It comes with automatically installed with Ubuntu and also Linux Mint and very many other Linux distributions. I've used that as well, but it's not one of my favorite. I'm going to scan down. I'm just going to talk about a few more. Terminator is another terminal that's popular and a lot of people use it, but, and I've used it as well. So I'm just giving you a brief overview and also XFCE terminal is also a, a good terminal to use. So that was just a brief overview about terminals. Now I'm going to go back up to the Xterm terminal. It's the one that I use. So Xterm is my favorite terminal. It's probably one of the oldest terminal emulators that have been used in Linux. It's been around a very long time. It's stable. It's sturdy. It gets updates. So it's still updated. It's not a dead uh, application program. And Xterm is also available in every Linux distribution. Even if it's not downloaded automatically in a Linux distribution, it's in every Linux repository. A lot of people don't like Xterm because when you download it raw from the repository, it's a bright white screen, the font is small, and there's no way to make changes to it. I love Xterm because I learned how to make it, put it into dark mode and have the background dark and the font white and also to make the uh, font larger and I like it because it's lightweight it's very lightweight it doesn't use any RAM hardly any RAM at all so having said that I'm going to show you a few things so this is Xterm this is the way it looks when you download it from the repository bright white screen story about your eyes and the font look how small it is you can probably can't even see the font and there's no way to adjust it. So because of that, a lot of people don't use Xterm. Now I'm gonna pause the video and show you what my Xterm looks like. Okay, and now I'm back. So I'm gonna open up Xterm and you're gonna see the way I've configured it. Now look how beautiful that is. It has a black screen, the print is large, there's color in the print. I will go into Vim and open up my XNETRC file. And you wanna have this line typed in XR, db space period capital x resources now if you don't have an xnrc file you should have one but if you don't 
you would type in vim x and it rc and hit enter now you're if you're making a brand new file it won't have all this stuff in it but you can just type in this one line let's quit out of there so another thing you want to do is go into your x resources file and if you don't have one you'll have to make one and to make one you just do vim capital x resources now if you have one it will take you in it if you don't have one it will make one and you want to type these words in there star period font colon space xft colon monospace colon style equals bold colon size equals 15. now you don't have that 15 in there you can put 12 13 14 or you can experiment to see what size of font you want then the next line you have to have is capital x capital t erm period vt100 period R E V E R S E video with a capital V colon and true and, and leave a space and true. So you have to type it in exactly the way it is. And what this is going to do is the second line is going to make the background black. It's going to get rid of that white background, the blinding white background. It's going to get rid of it. It's going to make the background black and it's going to make the font white. And like I said before, the top line, you can change the font. 12, 13, 14, 15 to whatever, 16, 17, whatever line you, whatever size you want. Then you quit out of there. You might have to either reboot or log out of your system to get it to work. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that button. I am the Linux Mensch.